Good evening, everybody. I promised some people that I would make a tutorial on how to install TensorFlow uh, GPU on Ubuntu, and I'm also going to do it on Arch Linux, and then I'm going to show you guys how to use Google Colab instead if you don't have access to a GPU. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, uh, well, you're going to want to find this tutorial that I'm using which is called the No Bullshit Guide to Installing TensorFlow on Ubuntu 18.04. So, let's look that up. Uh, this is... Uh, I don't typically use Ubuntu. I normally use Arch Linux, and the installation method is uh, different. So, uh, yeah, I tested some out, and this is the best one. You could just follow this tutorial. But if you'd like, I'm going to do it here now, too. Terminal. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is blacklist the NVIDIA driver. The uh, This laptop that I'm using to record this on is... Um, it has an NVIDIA... Or it has a NVIDIA Quadro something or other. And um, it's an Intel i7, so it has its own Intel graphics. And you need to blacklist... Um, yeah, you need to blacklist Nouveau, which is the open source version of the NVIDIA driver. And uh, that way, when you install the correct video driver, it'll work just fine. So let's copy this right here. I will, of course, link to this in the section below. Um, Apologies about the crazy sound effects. That's just something Ubuntu does. This is a brand new installation of Ubuntu. All I did was install OBS so I could record this. There's nothing else set up. Okay, so just to make sure that we've correctly done this. There you go. So Nouveau, which is the... Uh, um, open source NVIDIA driver is now blacklisted. Uh, on Ubuntu, you're going to want to update the kernel, which is done right here. We're going to have to start and stop several times throughout this video because uh, you have to reboot, which is kind of annoying. I'll probably um, stop right now and uh, reboot because this takes this takes some time. So I'll see you in a minute. Oh, it was real quick. <laughs> Doesn't matter, still got to reboot, so I'll see you in a minute. Now that we have updated our kernel and rebooted, uh, the next step is to install the proper NVIDIA driver. So Ubuntu makes this really easy. You just add this repo. If you're coming from Windows, this is not super easy, but for most Linux users, this is pretty standard stuff, especially if you're used to using Ubuntu. Um, this repo um, gives you access to significantly newer uh, NVIDIA graphics drivers and uh, makes everything pretty, pretty easy. Okay, we're going to update. This may take a second. If it does, I will pause it. But I think it's pretty quick. I'm not sure if I've updated this since I installed it, so there may be some... No, it was quick, okay. Uh, we're going to purge any pre-existing NVIDIA drivers. We don't have any installed yet, because again, this is a brand new uh, installation, but if there were any, you'd want to do that, just to make sure that you had the correct one. Since I didn't have any installed, I don't need to reboot, but if you did have some installed that you had to uninstall, you'd want to reboot there. Uh, if you don't have... A onboard graphics card you uh, you may be in a different situation because when it reboots it needs to reboot not using the Nvidia card uh, we already updated so we don't need to do that let's just do the so this fancy little command right here drivers auto install looks for the newest driver and installs it it's really handy it takes a while though so I will probably pause it depending on how long it takes. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. All right, when we left off, 
<laughs> which was yesterday. Um, we had just run this command here, sudo ubuntu drivers auto install, and uh, we installed our drivers. Um, for some reason, I don't need to do this. We can try it. I don't. I don't think it works for me. I don't think I have Prime. I might. Oh, apologies for the terrible beeping noises that the terminals make in Ubuntu. Uh, I heard it on the recording, and it's <laughs> terminal bell. There you go. Get rid of that. It's gonna scare some people. So apologies in advance or uh, posthumously if you died from it. Um, but if you have the the Prime thing, you can do this and reboot again. Oh yeah, let's run NVIDIA SMI. NVIDIA, oh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA SMI. Look at that! We got drivers! That's great, right? Everybody loves a driver. Um, yeah, and this is the big new trick. This is what makes everything great. You can download Anaconda. And it literally like in seconds will solve all of your problems well it takes a couple of minutes actually because it downloads the uh the files um they're like maybe a gigabyte total but we'll pause it and then restart it once it's done and it'll be like no time passed but for you it'll be longer so you'll have to pause it too and then if you're like doing it with me you may feel like your computer's too slow i can't help you <laughs> Um, yeah. As an aside, I'd like to recommend to everyone a drink that I have created. I call it an Irish butter. It is <laughs> half and half uh, Carolyn's Irish cream and buttermilk. Um, most people who try it love it. <laughs> the best part about it is that it curdles slightly. So while you're drinking it, it's kind of like yogurt. Truly, it's amazing. Do I have to run this as um, root? Who knows? My anaconda don't want no. That's going to happen all night long, guys. Yes. Yes. That's fine for now. You can put it wherever you want. I'm just going to leave it in the defaults because this is a tutorial and I don't use Ubuntu. So once we're done here, I'm going to wipe this drive. <laughs> it takes a while. All in all, this tutorial might actually be under 10 minutes, though, which will be, you know, special for me. Especially if I cut out all this random talking afterwards. So yeah, Anaconda is a scientific package that packages Python and Numpy and SciPy and Scikit-Learn. Uh, Pandas, looks like. A whole bunch of really fancy stuff. Uh, I've never used it before trying this tutorial because I just used Python and you guys saw pip. Uh, I will not be installing Microsoft VS Code. Thank you very much. Okay, so very much like um, very much like uh, pip, you need to create a sorry like Python and venv, you need to create a virtual environment. So we can do that right now. Conda, and we're going to call ours tutorial. Or tutorials, I like to call it. Python equals 3.6. 3.6 because TensorFlow plays nice with 3.6, not 3.7. Conda Conda doesn't make any sense, Lucas. Conda create is the trick. Wow. Did Conda? Oh, yeah. Uh, you have to open up a new terminal. Python equals 3.6. Wow. I've had too many Irish butters. <laughs> yeah! There we go. So this is going to create the virtual environment for us and in a similar way, like you can see on the right here. Again, I'll link to this tutorial in the subscription. You don't even have to watch this video. Uh, the tutorial alone will do all of the things for you. Uh, some people like to watch other people do it. I don't know why. It helps. Helps me, certainly, to watch somebody else do it. I don't know why. So there you go. It's installing Python 3.6. Is this big enough, guys? Can you read this? I always forget to zoom in. Just zoom in twice. Just make it fat. Fat browser. 
Uh, we are now going to activate the source activate tutorials. Okay, and we are in our environment. So at this point, this is normally when we would be using pip to do like a pip install TensorFlow, but we're not gonna. We're gonna do this lovely command right here, conda install, and then the name of packages. These are still, I believe these are still pip packages or Python packages, but uh, they're hosted by conda. And uh, if this works, we are literally done. You can see in there it says um, CUDA toolkit, and TensorFlow-GPU and CUDNN. So you don't got to mess around with any of the crap. You just install this and then uh, I believe it's only in this environment. So if you make a new environment, you'll have to re-download CUDA Toolkit. Not 100% sure on that. Uh, you can test it though. But if you do, it's still incredibly simple. The problem is, of course, it takes a couple of minutes to download the files. Um, I'm going to pause it here and I'll be right back. Boop. Okay, uh, as you can see here, we have completed installation, including TensorFlow Base and TensorFlow GPU 1.12. How cool is that? Uh, so now we are going to import Tensor. Oh no, nope. <laughs> we're going to start up Python, and you'll see it's 3.6.8, and we are going to import TensorFlow as TF, and then we are going to. Uh, do the session thing to see if this works because so unfortunately on my computer here this is an incredibly slow process I forget what this I always forget what this is I, I need to start remembering what this is config proto what is it session <laughs> it's what no okay all right, it's exciting, right? Watching somebody Google stuff on the internet, it's super fun. Aha, there it is, log device placement equal true. Log device placement equal true. So on my computer, this takes legitimately 100 bazillion years. What is wrong with that? TF, friends. Yeah. Uh, but as you can see, it's loaded up the GPU. So um, there it is right there. The Quadro whatever at a cruddy old 1.148 clock rate, which is the greatest clock rate there is. We've got um, four gigs of free memory, apparently, of memory. Um, I have never actually done any machine learning on this laptop. I'm only doing this as a demonstration, but... Uh, that would be what you would do. So at this point, you have TensorFlow GPU installed along with CUDA, CUD, CUDNN, uh, everything you need. In fact, let's go one step further and try running some uh, stable baselines, right? That's probably a good demonstration. So GitLab, Lucas jumps in. Boom. This is the Sonic bot. We're not going to use that because that's neat. But at this point, you could install neat. Um, you can install... Uh, you can use pip to install stuff. Or you can obviously use... Uh, oh, excuse me. You can use pip to install stuff. Or you can use conda if they maintain a package. Excuse me. Or you can uh, do like I think I do in the video, which is to get the, uh, the actual installation files off of GitHub. And uh, set it up yourself, or install it with Python dash. You know, you know the deal. You don't need to see any of this stuff. We don't need Sonic, guys. We need Street Fighter or chatbots. We can do chatbots. Chatbots. Actually, Street Fighter might be kind of tough because I don't know if I have the. Um... It's okay. We'll do. We'll do Sonic. So we're still waiting for the GPU to uh, load over there. I'm not 100% sure why it's so slow on this computer. Uh, on my uh, um, my normal computer with my 970, it's basically instantaneous. So, uh, all right, we're going to. We don't need any of this crud. None of it. None of it. Um, 
Where do we get Sonic from? That's a good question. Is Sonic kicking around? Uh, Sonic. So retro. Sonic. No, we'll do. I guess we'll do it over. Uh, yeah, I don't have. <laughs> I can't download the ROMs. What do I have, guys? I don't have anything, and I don't have any USB ports left. So, we are going to instead go to the stable baselines documentation. At this point, by the way, you can shut this off and uh, go ahead and start using TensorFlow GPU. It's done. We're just goofing around now. This is a goof at this point. Did you see that these guys linked to me in their uh, on their in their Look at this right here. How cool is that? That's me. That's pretty cool, I think. Hey, there you go. It's done and no errors. There you go. Uh, that's I, I know this computer is extremely slow, but there you go. That's that's how you would set up TensorFlow GPU, guys. Uh, let me run this tutorial just for further demonstration. Plus, I just feel like doing it. I kind of want to see how slow it is. So uh, we're going to go Conda install Jim Retro and stable baselines. So normally we would be using stable baselines. Normally we would be using um, pip. And, uh, but I'm pretty sure Conda has, oh, they don't. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, so there's no, which one did they not have? Either one, eh? Okay, let's see if we can install it with pip. Pip install Jim retro and stable baseline. Whoops, that's not how you spell stable baselines. Cancelled. I again rec highly recommend stable baselines. They were uh they make a very good, very understandable package. Their documentation is incredible. It's where I learned all this stuff. Do 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 do. Is this a Sonic one? No, this isn't a Sonic one. Whoop! Oh yeah, MPI for Pi. Right, 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 right. I forget how to do that. There's some trick. You have to get a version. It's 1.4 maybe? MPI for Pi version uh, 3.6 Python. Uh, oh, I can check my old computer. Give me one sec here, guys. Pip. Stable baselines uses MPI for uh, multi-threading. So, okay, what's well, three? What was it trying to install? MPI, four pi. 3.0.0 Damn it. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that's not working. Can we install it with Conda? Yeah, 1.4.1. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Of. Yeah, 2.0. So there you go. You need MPI 4 Pi 2.0. So that's something. Pip install stable baselines gym retro. Let's hope it works now. This is why people like to watch people do tutorials because they come across stuff while they're doing it, which can be helpful. There you go, worked just fine. Um, we are now going to run Python M uh, retro. This may not have been. So it's home. Downloads, Sanic, and there you go. It imported three games. Perfect. So we should be able to write ourselves just a little bit of code here. Um, let's save this first into 
Where should we save it, guys? Right here. Does this work? Sonic PPO2.py. All right, so we're going to import stable baselines. I'm not sure if we've installed Numpy, but I think we have. I'm not convinced on Jim. Should we do Jim? Conda install Jim. Nope. Pip install Jim. It's already installed. Perfect. The discreterizer doesn't really matter. We're not going to use any of these states. We're just going to use the generic state. So let's just delete this. This is all Street Fighter 2 stuff, which I don't have the ROM for. Uh, let's do Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedge. How do you spell Hedgehog? It's on Genesis. This computer only has four cores, so I'm going to give it two. Uh, we're going to do the PPO model because I prefer it. A2C is really good though. That's the one that I used to get. To, oh, we're not loading anything. Uh, to get. Oh my god, what is the comment line? Sorry about the noise, guys. That's the default sound on uh, Ubuntu. It's really. It's obnoxious. If you ask me. The state is going to be Green Hill Zone. Act 1, because that's what Sonic comes with. This is all pre-made by um, by uh, OpenAI for you. We're going to use the PPO2 model. CNN policy works good. We're not going to do any of these ranges. This is all for if you're trying to do different, um, if you have multiple, uh, we just want these ones right here. If you're doing multiple different states, you can, you know, loop through them. We don't need to worry about this. We just want to see it run. So that should be good. Let's try that. Hopefully it doesn't error. If it errors, I will fix it and get back to you guys. Apparently it's going to take its sweet time. This part here, this is the same as the standard part, so I'm only going to show this part on this tutorial. There you go, guys. It's training. It's training using the GPU. Okay? So that's it. That's how you set it up and get yourself running pretty simple on um, Ubuntu. I'll see you guys in the next episode.